Greetings YouTube, Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back to another episode of Metroid Prime. This is episode number 16. And yes, it has indeed been way too long since I've uploaded any type of video, not including the uh, new intro that you saw at the beginning of this video. Um, but yeah, I've just been having quite a few issues. I had editor problems and I was on vacation for a little bit, so... I had things going on, but I've got just about everything that I wanted to get sorted out, sorted out. So, moving on. Anyway, in the last episode, we... Oh, man, it's been a long time. But I believe we got the Ice Beam in the last episode, so... Uh, now we need to figure out what to do with it. And our next move is actually in Vendrana Drift, so... We have to go all the way through Magmore Caverns, and I'll skip all that. Um, and get right to the good stuff. Alright, so before I go any farther in Pendrana Drifts, this is just the um, main area when you first enter. Um, there's a missile expansion that I want to grab that we are now able to get. So, jumping over here, there should be a Cordite statue, which is right there. And you can blow that up with, really? You just made me miss my shot and missed... Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, stupid Shigoth babies. Anyway, you can blow that up with a super missile, and... Uh, when you scan it, it'll say that something behind the wall has been activated, and it'll open this little uh, path for you. And of course, you're going to need the Morph Ball, and you can just slide right on in there. You have to have the Spider Ball as well, but you should at this point if you're following me. And there is the Missile Expansion, yeah. Alright, so we're back in the uh, research section of Vendrana Drift, so I assume you know how to get there, um, because we've been here quite a few times already. Uh, this is the observatory, uh, if you're looking for the name of the room that I'm in here. There's a safe station in here, and this is where we originally got the super missile. Uh, so when you come back in here, there will be space pirates uh, throughout a lot of the rooms. Uh, so if you want to come back and get missile expansions or anything like that, um, you are going to have to fight your way through, unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, in this room, there's just the two space pirates, and then you can uh, just jump around the room freely. Um, I don't believe I missed anything in here, so we're just going to head on up to the top and go through the only door that we can actually go through that'll take us somewhere, and we'll move on. Let's see which one this is. Uh, it's the safe station. Of course it is. Just my luck. Okay, I guess I should have gone through the uh, wave beam door. That would have made more sense. Missile, not missile expansion, uh, safe station rooms usually are blocked by a missile door and then they just become regular doors after you blow off the uh, original missile hatch. Oh well. Alright, so we're going to go up into the tower now and we are going to have to fight uh, space pirates in here as well. There probably will be the uh, flying jetpack space pirates, which are a lot of fun. They should be a lot easier to get rid of now that we have the ice beam, however. The problem is that the ice beam is so slow uh, but all you have to do is hit him with basically one shot, and he's frozen, and one missile will just completely shatter them. And yeah, that makes life very easy, because these uh, jetpack pirates are extremely annoying, as you know. Especially in large numbers. And once we get the ice spreader, we will be able to uh, freeze a couple of them at the same time, which will just make things even more easy. Okay, um, what do I need here? I need health, I need missiles, I need everything! Ah, alright. Guess I can blow that up, why not? And we might as well get out of here. There actually is an artifact in this room, but I'm not going to worry about getting that at this point. So we're in the East Tower here, and we're headed to the Research Core. Uh, and that is where we found the Thermal Visor uh, last time around, so... Uh, all of this should be familiar, uh, it's nothing really new here. I was going to skip over a lot of it, and I did, in fact, I skipped over all of Magmore Caverns and the early part of Vendrana Drifts as well, um, but I want you to have at least somewhat of an idea of where I'm going here, uh, because we will be heading into a new area past the research core, so uh, at least you know where I am now. Alright, so we're in Research Lab, um, I want to say this is Aether, and I think Hydra's on the other side, so, yeah. Anyway, you're gonna have to fight your way through again, there are 
uh, the turrets, which I just froze one of them. And then, of course, there are space pirates throughout the room as well. Um, unfortunately, everything is in the dark, so you're going to have to use your thermal visor. You can't really get around that. Uh, the space pirates will just blend right in if you don't. And I believe these are shadow pirates, if I'm not mistaken. Where is that turret? There it is. Wow, you can't even see that with the thermal visor. That could have killed me. There's also Metroids in this room. I'm not entirely sure what the criteria is for them breaking out and attacking you, um, or if they do at all. But um, if you're going to clear the room, it's always safe to get rid of the Metroids um, on top of the Space Pirates because you just never know, and Metroids can be quite annoying. Alright, so we're almost there. In fact, we are here. And now there's going to be Metroid problems. But thankfully, we have the Ice Beams. We can kill these things very quickly. You don't have to worry about a bunch of charge beam shots and missile shots and all that stuff that we had to uh, worry about before, but I'm just going to drop to the bottom and get out of here because what we came for is this door right here that we could not get through before. And this is going to take us into a new area of Fendrana Drifts. This room in particular is called the Pike Access, um, but it's going to take us into, well, I don't know the actual regional name for this. Um, this isn't Vendrana Shorelines, that's the beginning part, and we're not in the research section, so, um, I don't know. We can just call it Vendrana Beyond, beyond the rest of Vendrana. It's creative, right? Alright, so we're in a big room called the Frozen Pike here, and this is connected to an elevator to Magmore Caverns that we've actually used before, um, but there's a bunch of other doors in here that we have not used. Um, so, I guess we're going to want to use some of those. Um, now, as for enemies in this room, it doesn't appear as though there are very many, just those little, uh, termite thingies. And there's stuff underwater, too? Uh, that's interesting. Okay, so, I guess we just need to kind of find the right door here. I'm not sure which one exactly I want to go through. I need a little refresher. I'm not a big fan of this uh, part of Fendrana, and is, I'm gonna just see where this takes us, because, like I said, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing at this point. I know what we're um, trying to get, um, because before we can go explore the inside of the Frigate ship, um, again, it um, requires a new suit upgrade, so... We need to find that, and that is located here in Pendrana. But I'm going to assume I'm going the right way because... Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay. So I'm actually going to cut this episode pretty short here after I scan this creature. Glider! Docile, airborne creatures with unusual magnetic properties. Gliders live a relatively peaceful existence. They have a magnetic signature attuned to common grapple beam technology. The sport of glider riding involves using a grapple to attach to a glider, then staying on it as long as possible. Well, we don't have the grapple beam, so that's not going to help us. Oh, and a Hunter Metroid is attacking us here. Hunter Metroid, Adolescent Metroid. Energy Siphon Tentacle increases its threat level. Well, fantastic, that's just what we need. As Metroids develop, they become more efficient predators. An energy draining tentacle can drain power from a distance, Quick to anger, a Hunter Metroid will charge Troublesome Prey, and let's see what else. Cold base attacks are still effective, so there you go. That wasn't that difficult. They can do a lot of damage to you, though, so be careful. Alright, so in this room here, there's a safe station located over to the right, I believe, but the first thing you want to do is locate these stalactites up on top of the ceiling and shoot them with a missile. You can scan it if you want. Um, but not really interested in that and there should be quite a few around the room here It's just a matter of getting to the right places to be able to target them like so And what I was saying earlier is that I'm actually going to just stop at the safe station here I know it was a short episode. We didn't really do a whole lot, but I did cover a lot of ground um, At least on my end although I didn't show a lot of it uh, in the next episode we're going to hopefully get our hands on the gravity suit and um, go from there but that's gonna be it for this time guys thank you very much for watching and uh, please stay tuned for episode number 17 game on